The question is this, how do I not show a previous employer's name on a LinkedIn, on my LinkedIn profile, but I want to show the experience. I'm going to show you how to do that here. You can come down to your current, uh, to your experience section. You got to hit the pencil in the section. And then once you're in, in the section, you can scroll down to that previous position. And I'm going to use the bud group right here. So I worked for them for eight years. If I don't want to show the bud group, on my LinkedIn profile, but I want to show the work. What I would do is edit this. I would put a company name there that does not exist, but is relevant. An idea could be simply undisclosed. Now look, undisclosed, there is a company out there, but I could say undisclosed company. Now there happens to be companies out there called undisclosed companies, but I can put in the USA and there is none. Undisclosed company in the USA. Now that, when I say, now one more thing to make sure of is that is in your description box down here that you don't say anything about the company name or anything that's unique about the company name that would lead people to believe that's the company you work for. And then when you hit save, and when I come out of here, and I look at my LinkedIn profile, you'll see these bottom two positions don't have a company associated with them. You know there's no company associated with them is when you hover over the name and the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it says search results all. This one right here actually has an old company out there, but it's been deleted. And you, uh, you see it's company 156533, but that goes to search results, which means it is not connected to any company on LinkedIn. That would be the way that I would hide the name of the company that I work for, but yet still be able to show the work that I did that shows my relevance and my professional growth. There's one more thing you might want to be careful of, and that is go through the rest of your LinkedIn profile and make sure there's no other reference to that company. Example, in recommendations, you want to make sure that no one wrote a recommendation that references that company that you work for. So if somebody had referenced that company, then you're going to want to not display that rec LinkedIn recommendation on your LinkedIn profile. You may want to also review the rest of your LinkedIn profile and make sure there's no other places where there's a reference to that employer. Example, if I come out of recommendations, then you might want to also look at uh, projects and publications and courses. You know, this is associated with that company right there. And so, um, you know, organizations, maybe there's an internal group or an employee resource group or an affinity group that you're a part of. And also, maybe also look and see if you're following that company. So you may not want to show the company in your interest. Just bottom line is beyond the experience section, beyond recommendations, and uh, uh, you may want to also look through the rest of your LinkedIn profile and make sure there's no reference to that company there. Hey, I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.